children today we'll begin chapter number 10 play with patterns from your ncert textbook here is written tinu used this block this is one block to make a sari so this is a sari now she has used this block to make beautiful patterns on this sari children here you can see blocks and in this blocks you are able to see different designs are made now we can use this blocks to make various beautiful patterns now let us see how tina has used this block to make a beautiful pattern on a sari now i am using paper to show you how designs are made on a sari to make a pattern so on this side the design has been kept in this order so you are able to see one pattern here and on below the design has been kept in this order so this makes one beautiful pattern and on the other side we can see that two blocks of same designs are placed facing each other to give you another design so in this way yeah the pattern has been created on that side so two blocks of same design facing each other so you can see how this block to make a beautiful pattern on a sari now let us see the next picture now you are able to see a bed sheet with a new pattern made on it now this pattern has been made with the same block that was used before let us see how this new pattern has been made with the same block now here he used four different blocks of same design to create a new design for the pattern how he created he connected four blocks of same design to bring out new design for this bed sheet here you can see a new design and made by four different blocks 1 2 3 4 4 to create one design similar design again and in this order made a beautiful pattern on the bed sheet third picture you are able to see a dupatta and a new pattern made on it with the same block we have used this same block to make a new pattern on this dupatta let us see how he made it he kept the block in a downward direction to get this design and in the second he kept in an upward direction to get this design again downward again he kept he kept in an upward direction again in a downward direction to get this beautiful pattern on the dupatta how different patterns were made with the same block now let us read this can you see how tinu has made different patterns using the same block now you too can make three different pattern using this block so now you have to use this block and make three different patterns so the first pattern we will start in this pattern we will keep the block in a downward direction you can see the pointer in the downward direction second we will keep upward direction you can see on top now we will keep down up down up down up down up down up so in this way we are making the pattern down and then finally up so first pattern has been completed now in the second pattern we will keep the design downward as you can see the block design has been kept pointing downward so down and the second we will keep on the left hand side you can see the point on the left hand side third will keep on top and then will keep on the right hand side so down left top right down left top and the right down and left so in this way we completed pattern number 2 now in the third pattern we'll keep the design down so block design has been kept down one more we will keep down and then up down 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 up down down up down and down so in this way we completed the third pattern so children 
you can make your own patterns using the same block. Here, Yamini has used her blocks to make a few patterns. Help her to take these patterns forward. Let us see the pattern. In the first place, we have one leaf and then two leaves, three leaves and then four leaves. After four leaves, again, we have one leaf. So, we are able to understand that one, two, three, four. In this way, the patterns are moving forward. So, if I have one leaf, then what will be the next? There will be definitely two leaves. And after that, three leaves. And at last, four leaves. Here we see two lines with arrow upward. And then we see two lines with arrow downwards. So, arrows are going upward and downwards. And after that, we see three lines with arrow upwards, three lines with arrow downwards. So, two lines, arrow upward, two lines, arrow downward, three lines, arrow upward, three lines, arrow downwards. After that, four lines with arrow upwards. And then four lines with arrow downwards. After that, five lines with arrow upward. In this figure, we are able to see circle with four parts and colors are set it in a certain pattern. In the first circle, you will see color on the top right and in the second, you see color at the bottom right and then in the third, you will see color at the bottom left that it will be top left and then again it will come to top right again it will go back to bottom right. So this way, the pattern has been completed. We can also make patterns with numbers and letters. That means children, we can make patterns with numbers and letters also. Below are a few examples. Can you take them forward? So let us see the patterns. Here we have letters. They have used letters to make a pattern. Let us find out what will be the next letters. A, B, C. After C, what they have written? D, E, F. After F, they have written G, H, I. So after I, what comes? J. So how many letters they have used? They have used three, three letters. So let us continue. After I comes J, K, L. After L will come M and O. After O will come P, Q, R. So we have completed the first pattern. Next pattern, here we see numbers and letters. First let us see the numbers. How the numbers are written. 28, after 28, 27 and then 26. I hope you are getting it. Numbers are decreasing. 28, 27, 26. What will be next? 25, after 25, 24 and then 23. So numbers are done. Let us see the letters. Z and then Y, X. So you can see the letters are starting from last. Z, before Z we get Y and then X. So before X what we have? W. Before W what we have? B. And before B we have U. So it is Z, Y, X, W, B and U. Next. The next we have only numbers. Here the numbers are decreasing. So how much it is decreasing? So you can see here 864 and then we have 764. After that we have 664. That means numbers are decreasing by 100. So, so before 664, what comes next? Decrease by 100. That means 564. After that, 464. And at last, it will be 364. Next, here we see the numbers are increasing. 9. After 9, we see 109. After 109, 209. 
So here we see the numbers are increasing by 100. 9, 109, 209, after that 309, next will be 409, and at last 509. Now write your own number patterns. So here we will make patterns, but that patterns must have only numbers. So let us make patterns. Uh, let us make, let us start with 2 and after 2 I will write 4 after 4 I will write 6 I hope you are able to understand how I am writing this pattern 2 in, from 2 I have increased 2 I got 4 4 I increased by 2 6 6 you increased by 2 or you add 2 you will get 8 in this number you add 2, you will get 10. In this 10 you add 2, you will get 12. So I have increased the number by 2. 2 plus 2, 4. 4 plus 2, 6. 6 plus 2, 8. 8 plus 2, 10. And 10 plus 2, 12. I need to do one more pattern with numbers. So I want to do, uh, I want, I will increase the number by 100. 100 in this 100 I'm adding 100 so I'll get 200 so after 200 300 so you can see numbers are increasing by 100 100 plus 100 200 200 plus 100 is 300 300 plus 100 is 400 400 plus 100 is 500 500 plus 100 is 600. So children, you can also make this kind of number patterns. You can make your own number patterns by taking idea from here. Let us see the next pattern. Here it says make a pattern without number. So now I have to make a pattern but without using number. So what can I do? Let us use letter to make a pattern. So I will write here A, B. I have written here A, B letters. Now I will write here B, C. I hope you are getting it what I am doing. I'm, I have written here A, B. After B, I have written here again B, C. So next what I will write C again. C, D. Now D I will repeat again. D, E. And E will I will repeat, repeat again. E, F. And F, I will repeat here, F, G. So this is my pattern without number. A, B, again B here, B, C, again C here, C, D, again E, D will be here, D, E, E will be here, E, F, and F will be here, F, G. So children, you can also make a different type of patterns without number.